I, my last video focused on the condo market and that particular condo behind me. I came here, it's a little bit out of town near the Chong Arawan BTS station and it's surrounded by undeveloped property. So I came to look at the undeveloped property and see what it was and I found a little bit of a surprise. It turns out that this undeveloped property is not undeveloped. Well, in a modern sense it's not, but there are people living here. There's a whole community of people living in this area that looks to me to be a river delta by the Chow Pria River. And they've been here a long time. Now there are these concrete pathways through here, but these people are not living on these kind of modern roadways. These apparently, these pathways have been built in recently. It's clear that this community has been here a long time. And I, I, I thought, I wanna go back and explore this. This is like a little bit of the countryside right here in Bangkok. And to help me out with it, I, I, I brought an interpreter. Hey, boo cow. Say hello to my interpreter. Okay, so let's go see what this community is all about. I think it might be a very interesting thing to go explore. Nice old teakwood houses here. A nimble little creature just running up and down the stairs. No problem. <laughs> Been here for a long time, apparently. Just basing that, judging that based on the uh, the old teak style construction. Oh, here's the local store. What do they have here? Local grocery store. No, I, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have some later. My interpreter is buying herself a Coke. I think my choice of Diet Coke would be a strange request here. That's all the sugary non-diet stuff. Have your basics. So, little little hooch, some booze down on the bottom there. Hong Tong is uh, the fiery hooch that they like here in Bangkok. Okay. Go this, go this way. Yeah. yeah. Very nice in here, Dimak. I like. Yeah. You live here a long time? Whole life, yeah? Yeah. 40 years, yeah. Your family live here before you? Oh, Udon. Oh, Udon. You come. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I can see you Lao, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Bye bye. Hello. Hey boys. Namaste. <laughs> That's significant. Well, significant. That you know means he's probably not Thai. Thai say Sawatika. Namaste is uh, uh, indicates a different ethnicity. One more closely related to uh, to India, probably Sri Lanka, which is the roots of uh, many Thai ethnicities. So I found that interesting. A young boy is like that would greet me with a namaste. That was nice. Uh, here's another crew of folks hanging out by another local store. Swati Kap. Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you. Yes, <laughs> I like your store. Very nice, Dimak. Ah, uh oh, I think he's the, I think he's the local tough guy. Maybe we should move on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there are plenty of things that you can point to as negative aspects of living like this. 
But I don't consider this poverty. I consider it uh, just rural, just a different, older lifestyle that used to exist all over this country, all over this region, prior to uh, the arrival of a of, of more modern, mostly Western, but the Japanese after World War II became a very modern culture as well. And uh, they, they have had a big influence here in Thailand also. They built the transit systems for the most part all over Southeast Asia. It was Japanese engineers that made that happen. So as modern culture, you know, global modern culture became introduced here in this part of the world, this style of life that you can still see here in this extraordinary uh, part of Bangkok has qualities to it that I still find attractive. You know, it's, it's laid back, you know, and easy from, from an emotional, you know, point of view. Now, would I like to live here? Probably not. I like my air conditioning. I like my modern amenities, but I was born into that. That's my lifestyle. That's my tribe. The people that live in places like this appear to me to be happy with who they are and how they're living. And it's nice to see. It's nice to see that that exists here in the, well, not the heart, but very close to the heart of one of the world's largest modern cities. It's kind of cool. So you, you live here right on the river, huh? Have motorboat? Tell them I want to hire motorboat, take me around on the river. Try, t ask. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, my, my me? Oh, okay. Uh, he doesn't have. I'm asking him if he has a motorbike. He just has these two kayaks here, which I'm not up to kayaking. I'm looking for a motorboat driver, but it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye-bye. You know, Thank you. Oh, you know the thing about uh, killer hornets? Here's a representation of a killer hornet. Now there's a fisherman, man, mending his nets. I ask him, fisherman. Who fisherman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Dimak, <laughs> Pop. Yeah, hello. I like these. Yes. Yeah. The fisher, they make go fishing? Yes. Yeah. Hush, uh, motorbike. King Mark. What do you say? What do you say? 83. 83, D-Mark. Okay, good for you. Yeah, I'm 70. Yeah, good. You and I, we look good. Yeah? Tell her we look good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay, yeah. Doing good for 80. <laughs> Mending the fishing nets at 80. God bless him. Yeah, right. I'm, the, I'm the young man today, yeah. right? That's like, yeah. I'm going to call this the pathway for short people. I'm holding the camera at eye level. Came running through here at night drunk. I'd take my head off. Boink. Okay, I guess we're getting back to civilization. Here are automobiles and big fancy houses. Oh. And entering motorbikes. Super lit that way. Avante. So having exited the swamp, the Delta Swamp, 
I come out on Sukumwit Road, which is this noisy giant thoroughfare here next to me. And it turns out I was nearly a mile away from the BTS stop that I was seeking to get back to. That's where we had gotten off the BTS. So we walked a lot further in there than I thought we did. And I waited till evening time because I wanted to avoid the, the, the midday heat. So I waited till the sun to set a little bit and then we set out back into the Delta Swamp and walked around for an hour. And now I've sweat so much, my shirt is completely soaked through. I don't know why I bothered. Uh, I guess walking around in jungle swamps in the tropics it's going to work up a sweat no matter what time of day you do it. I have a suspicion if I went at midnight, I'd still be sweaty. But I enjoyed the walk. It was an interesting walk back there through that area of Bangkok where people are living a lifestyle that one would not expect in these modern times. So now I'm off to find myself someplace air conditioned and a cool drink. And then a nice air conditioned ride back in the BTS, which is uh, that thing right up there. Back to my modern everyday life, but appreciating that people can still have what appears to be a happy life uh, in a much different style of living than I'm used to. See you the next time.